Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to today's review video of the Africam Appa Scooter C3. Before we get started, I do want to say that we have tons of other videos on this product, including an unboxing video, off-road testing videos, 360 virtual test drive videos, and much more. All you should do is go to our YouTube channel, search for Mobility Direct, click the subscribe button, and by subscribing, you're going to be automatically entered into our giveaway. We give away a free mobility scooter every six months, at least, to random subscribers like this person that I'm throwing on the screen for you to see right now. You could be the next lucky winner, so go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you want a copy of this free product catalog, it's got all of our latest products, just go to our website, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out that simple short form, and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks. It's that easy. With that being said, let's get started. Again, I have the C3, which is the compact version of the Afi scooter made by Afikim. For those of you that don't know, Afikim makes the best all-terrain electric mobility scooters on the market. And we are the only company to offer some exclusive upgrades, such as a lithium battery upgrade, which can make this model go over 40 miles on a single charge. Not only that, we're the only dealer to offer a three-year service contract for free. So if anything goes wrong within the first three years that's covered by warranty, we will include the technician cost to travel to your home and repair the unit with the warranty covered replacement parts. Now, the Afikim C3 is again the compact version of the standard model, which can support up to 500 pounds. And you can get this in a four-wheel version. The standard C3, which was what we have here with the standard batteries, I'm going to go over the specifications. It has about a 350 pound weight capacity. It weighs about 225 pounds, but if you get the lithium batteries, it weighs significantly less. The maximum speed is about 9.5 miles per hour. The travel range with the standard batteries can go up to 35 miles, depending on the load and the terrain, but with the lithium batteries, you can get over 45 miles. We have a video showing you how it works with the lithium batteries. It's amazing. This scooter is also powerful enough to tow that truck, which we're putting on the screen here for proof. But if you go to the description below, you can watch the full video to see that this scooter is powerful enough to tow that truck. It's got a really powerful motor in it, which is a 950 watt, 24 volt motor. It has huge tires. They're 13 inches in the front and the rear. They're super knobby, about three and a half inches wide. It comes with front and rear suspension and a full captain seat with some premium red stitching on the black faux leather. Just like most mobility scooters, it comes stacked with all of the comfort features, flip up armrest, adjustable headrest, recline lever to go forward, back, fold the seat down. You can remove the seat, fold this tiller down, and this scooter will fit in the cargo space of most vans and SUVs, as long as the tiller's down. You may have to remove the mirrors and fold the seat down or remove the seat entirely, but for an off-road capable scooter, it's pretty transportable. And that's why we rate this scooter the best mid-size three-wheel mobility scooter of 2022. This mobility scooter can handle almost any terrain. We're here on a farm with tons of uneven land and terrain. We're gonna take you for a test drive. If you wanna see all the specifications, check the links in the description below. You can see specifications, you can order it online. And if you have any questions, just call our non-commissioned sales line. They'll answer any questions you have about lead times, accessories, custom options, etc. All right, so we're gonna go on a test drive. We're gonna go over a ton of uneven terrain and I'm gonna do a first person view test drive. I'm gonna take the camera here, thank you, and show you and talk about the dash. All right, so I've got the camera set here to wide view so that you could see a lot of what's going on. And I'm gonna talk about the terrain types that we're going over, give you different angles, and really show you what this thing's made of. I'm gonna go over a couple of extra specs here and talk about the dash. But just to let you know, since we're gonna be doing off-road testing, 
This scooter has a four inch ground clearance and it's rated for a 12% incline. Now before we start this video, I just wanna let you know that this isn't gonna be your typical review video by someone who works at a store or someone that does telesales for mobility scooters and really doesn't test their products out. I've had this mobility scooter here and I've been using it as a workhorse to go around the property, do yard work, take tools from point A to point B, go on walks with the dogs, I mean, it is a workhorse. It hangs with the best of them. I've washed the mobility scooter. I'm gonna show a video on how to do that next. They're rainproof. This terrain is rough because when it rains here in Florida, when we get rainy season, it gets puddled up pretty significantly and it burrows down into the ground. Now, I'm steering with one hand and that's all possible because of the big air inflatable tires and the delta tiller system which is intended for single hand operation so i can use my thumb here to go backwards or pull to go forwards here i could also just use my top lever here which is kind of like connected to this in a seesaw motion so if i push forward it goes backwards and you can see the left triggers going back as i push forward on the right so theoretically you can control this scooter with one finger and even on rough terrain, sometimes I'll be carrying a shovel with my other hand and driving with this scooter. Do not try that, it's not safe, but I've done it just to transport tools around the property here. So if you live on a farm and you need to get tools around or you need to drag something, this thing has the power. It has a very powerful motor. It's easy to use with one hand. It can go over pretty much any kind of terrain. So. We're gonna go on a little ride here. It might get a little bumpy, but it can hang. All right, from a different angle, we're gonna show you these two dips here. And I barely even felt that. Let's do it again. All right. I mean, it's a little bumpy, but you know, with the big tires and the full suspension, it's really handling it great. And I will say that even from a dead standstill, a lot of mobility scooters will not be able to get up out of a ditch like this. <laughs> not the Afikim. Let's go. All right, so we're pulling up here by the barn and we have this elevated piece of land here that I would say is, is pretty darn steep compared to most mobility scooters that I've tested. This thing handles it like a champ. Uh, really, there's only a few other mobility scooters that I would even try to take this on with. So I'm going to go up here, and you're going to see that this mobility scooter can go up that hill. No problem. And the grass is not really maintained up here. The mower doesn't get up here. So it's pretty rough up here, and it handles it like a champ. I'm just going to give you one other angle of us going up this hill. It's a pretty steep hill. As you can see, it's not your average hill. I mean, take a look. It's, it's pretty darn steep. So we're going to get some speed. I'm going to back up a little bit, and then we're going to show you that this thing can handle it. You might need a little speed. You shouldn't be at a dead standstill when going up a hill. That's just how it works with any mobility scooter. See that? It handles. And up here, it's pretty rough. It's pretty much all sand. So one more time, I'm going to take the even rougher side that's even steeper. And a lot of sand. It is just pulling right through that sand. It's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and keep going here. We've got some paths that are pretty bumpy. We've got some big tree roots. We had a skid steer with a mulcher attachment come through here and tear up all kinds of trees so that we can get this back area mower friendly and mower ready. So if you look around, there are logs everywhere. These aren't, this isn't just maintained yard. And I'm gonna get some of these shots of the front tire here as we're going through it. It is handling it like a champ. Again, this is the Afikim Afa Scooter Model C3. You can get it in a four wheel, and you can get it in a three wheel. 
You can also get it in a bigger size, which we're gonna show you a little sneak preview of in the video on the corner of the screen here. It's a little bit bigger, can hold more weight. It has a 1400 watt motor instead of the 950. And it has a lot more customizable options. You can get a weather canopy for it with rain sides. And that sucker can go in the rain during a full blown rainstorm. We have a video of that too. So check all the links in the description, visit our playlists, and you're gonna learn a lot more about these products. Which all right, so I just wanted to show you the terrain that we're gonna test this mobility scooter on really quick. It's a newer area here with a down tree and a ditch right here that goes pretty low next to another down tree. Just tons of uneven terrain that's really rough. Your average grocery store rental scooter is not gonna make it through this terrain. All right, so here we go. Wow, so it's got the ground clearance, may not have the highest ground clearance rating out of all the scooters, but it certainly has it. Enough to go over that big log. So now I'm gonna go without really too much momentum and see if it could take this big incline again. And it did, it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna turn around. And this is all soft mulch, really rough terrain. This is not easy terrain to get through for any other scooter. Okay, okay. I may have reached its limit right there. There is a really deep ditch. But I mean, I don't think really any mobility scooter can do that. Let's try that again. <laughs> Man, this thing is awesome. And the great thing about it is it's compact enough to go into a grocery store. The C model is pretty compact. I've taken it grocery shopping before, no problem. And it could still handle all this. You get the best of both worlds. Again, these are my favorite mobility scooters. And I'm not just saying that as a salesperson or someone that sells them. I'm saying this from personal experience. I use this thing all the time and I'm gonna show you how dirty it is. Just so you can see that I do use it all the time. So you can see it's got dust all over it. It's been used, it's got mud on it. Now, a lot of people talk about just the pros of a mobility scooter. I'm gonna talk about the cons. This mobility scooter may not be for someone that's 350 or 400 pounds the S model would be much better. So if you need something that can support more weight, you wanna go with the S model. Something else is that the front basket on the C model is not lockable. On the C4, it is lockable. And aside from that, I honestly don't have too many complaints about this mobility scooter, um, except the weight of the scooter can be pretty big, but when you get a heavy duty mobility scooter, it's gonna be heavy. There's, there's no avoiding that. All right, one other con that I do wanna mention about any three-wheel mobility scooter, if you're concerned about tipping it over, most three-wheel mobility scooters can tip over if you're going fast and you take a turn. So don't try that at all. But as you can see, the Afa Scooter C3 can also tip over. Now I am experienced at using mobility scooters. I run this business and I use mobility scooters every single day for the last almost decade. I test them all the time, so I know what I'm doing. Don't try that at home, but yes, if you're concerned about it tipping over, look at the four wheel model. It's way more stable, can hold a little bit more weight and has all the other luxury features that the C3 offers or the S model. There's really no other cons that I can think of. And if you look up this scooter's reviews, check out the comments in the YouTube videos below. Just go on any website that has ratings for mobility scooter. And I'll be surprised if you see any negative reviews. So don't take my word for it, but I am Sergio with Mobility Direct and I just stepped on an ant pile to make this video. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It'd make me feel a lot better. Again, don't forget we're giving away a free mobility scooter every six months. 
So just click on that link to subscribe down below, up above, wherever it is, and you're automatically entered. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.